it is 2083. Earth no longer exists. In order to continue the human race, mankind has had to find a new home. Miraculously, they found it on Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Normally, due to its very cold surface, it would not be inhabitable by humans. However, some interesting characters have gotten involved to make it possible. The gods of old, having been dormant for over 3,000 years, reappeared to humans. Although they have gone by many names throughout the ages, the humans began to call them by their Greek names. After arriving on Titan, the humans began to form a new government. But as humans do, they soon began to fight. They divided Titan into two cities. One began to call itself Troy, the other, in response, Sparta. Many believe that history unfailingly repeats itself. Wow, we like totally dissed those Greeks. Eat our waves, dudes. You were like so totally brave. And you're like so pretty. I know. Are you really a prince? Prince of the greatest city ever, Troy. It's pretty? Well, not as pretty as you. I know. Aren't your walls like totally tall? Tallest and the strongest. They say Poseidon helped build him himself. Uh, Poseidon. I mean, no way. Poseidon himself. The ocean god himself. Cool. Wanna come inside? Do I ever. Let's go. <laughs> Who's that? My sister Cassandra. What's wrong now? Somebody gonna kidnap a puppy again? <laughs> Come on, Cassandra. Get out of the way. Sorry, Helen. I think the move fried her brain a little bit. How come nobody ever listens to me? <laughs> Apollo, is that you? <laughs> What's with you? I thought you gave me the power to see the future. Didn't you predict where that puppy was going to be found? But nobody listened to me. <laughs> and now I see the walls of Troy falling down. Didn't you read the fine print of your wish? Fine print? What fine print? I can't read this. It's a bunch of squiggles. It's all Greek to me. Look here. Underneath the alien dancing on the spaceship, it says you will be able to predict the future, but no one will listen to you. What? How could you do this to me? Because it's funny. You guys think you're so smart. Well, I know what happens. You do? Oh, you do. What? I'm not telling. Oh, come on. No. Please. See you never, Apollo. Don't let the walls of choice fall on you. You guys think you're so smart. I'll show her. She won't think it's funny when we have a war. Somewhere back in the heavens. <laughs> Zeus here. Talk to me, baby. You wanna play war? Sure, why not? Who you want to play with? Troy. Really? I don't know, Ella. I promised them protection. Promise? I thought you were the all-in-powerful one. You don't have to make promises. I guess I'm calling the wrong guy. Maybe I should call Athena instead. She's a true warrior.
Wait one minute. Yeah? Well, you know I have a special place in my heart for Troy. I mean, they have their boy in my side. Your boy? How many boys do you have? There's Ajax, Achilles, Hercules. Not my actual boys. I mean, Hector is a true hero. I know. That's why I picked Troy. Go Troy! So let's call Athena. She'll take your challenge. What do you mean you can't fix it? I'm not old. Fix the wrinkle. Iron it out. What? Hello, Athena. How are you today? Horrible. Not one fight or battle and it's almost dinner. I was hoping this division would give us some more fights. Well, I've got some good news. Apollo wants to play war. Sign me up! So which side did you pick, Apollo? Troy! Fine, we'll play war, but I get to pick anyone I want. Right? Sure. Then I pick Sparta. I thought you might. What's that supposed to mean? She has a thing for Ajax. I do not! Hector's gonna clean the floor with her. In your dreams. Too bad about Achilles, though. What about Achilles? His mommy won't let him come out of leg. What? He's always been such a mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready for battle? Wait, you have Zeus? I want some backup. Fine, but what god is willing to stand up against Zeus? The king of the gods, baby. Let me think. Who isn't afraid of the king of the gods? Maybe his wife. You wouldn't. Hell, Rodham Clinton! Uh, gotta go. Zeus! Uh, just got a test message. Really urgent. Someone needs a dinosaur. Bye! But Zeus, no one even sends text messages anymore. This is... Sparta! How are you, Hera? Where my good for nothing husband run off to? I totally smell thunder. Well, he needs to come back on them beans. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. All oh, Lord, the king of the sea, Poseidon, come to join my side, O builder of the great walls of Troy. Harley. Why not? I never got paid for building those walls. Of course not. You know what he wanted? I only wanted the firstborn children of Troy cast to the sea every New Year's Day. Is that too much to ask? Let me think. Uh, yes. So, until I get paid, I'm not fighting for Troy. So what are you even doing here then? Just here to be a wet blanket? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, she got wet blanket. Cute. Please don't explain the jokes. It really makes them less funny that way. I'm here because I'm worried. My audience is really confused. We are introducing a lot of characters and about to begin the war. So let's introduce the homies. So film. Now here's a story all about how the world got flipped, turn upside down And I like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how we came to wonder which chick's the most fit Which chick is it? We don't know <laughs> In the west of Titan, up in space, on the white clouds, there's most of her days 
Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cooling and shooting some spells to keep the line of rule when a couple of girls who have to no good. Try to make a trouble in the neighborhood. Athena and Aphrodite got her skin. She said, No, I'm the prettiest, the hottest, the most fair. Aphrodite by pair, she said she was best. If anything, I can say that was a fair. But that's my story, so who gives a care? I'm even more confused than I was before the song. Let's go, boy. I know you get it. It's tough being a blind songwriter. I see potential in you, boy.